Hello everybody, this is Cyberdeck, and I wanted to show you two moon ships that I've made that use gravity drive. Uh, one of them I have not tested, this one I have. Um, the thing that I wanted to talk about today is a couple, well, mostly about gravity drive, why you'd want to use it, how to use it correctly, and what can happen if you use it incorrectly. So this ship here should be pretty well balanced as all four uh, limbs are coming from the same um, diameter um, of this ship here and um, as you can see the gravity drive is in each one of these cells along with engines that are facing uh, down up left and right and then forward I have a total of um, 12 uh, engines forward, 12 engines backward, and so, yeah, it's a very slow ship, it is a hefty ship, and I'm um, trying to keep you from seeing the other ship, but, um, and then I ended up having to put more generators out here, and I love this glass, and as you can see, um, to be honest, I could have gone and done nothing in here, I could have used this glass to connect this section and there be nothing in there just for looks um, so I, I definitely encourage you to do that and definitely post what you've done with glass to, to do uh, this kind of stuff I'd like to get to where I could put uh, do a whole ship um, or at least mostly all of a ship in glass um, and as you can see I've used glass here and here and then we have our entrance right down here and I went with a nice blue color for this one uh, let's go ahead and see there and I'll show you how slow of a ship it is going forward now oh you can see the other ship but that's okay uh, we'll get to that in a minute um, but I just want to show you a couple things about this ship um, one uh, it does not have a reverse gravity drive, it only has a forward gravity drive, um, which this is, I don't know if it's focused or what it is, either way this is a very lumbering ship, and if you're needing to get from one outpost to another, if you were to continue on where those engines are in the back to where um, it, it would um, have cargo containers or anything like that, then you'd want something to be able to get you to move forward. Now, I've been lucky lately uh, because these are heavy ships, as you can see here. This is um, 1,227,000 uh, kilograms, um, so it's pretty heavy. Um, and let's go ahead and turn on the gravity drive, um, and it should be pretty fast if, I, if I've done everything correct. Okay, got all those. And let's go. And there it is. We're at 111 meters per second in less than a second. Um, it's gotten almost ridiculous how fast I can make gravity drive work. And that is with dampeners. So, I mean, and now it's 112. So, anyway, this is this ship. Um, what you need to remember is that whenever you're making a gravity drive, you are not only making it um, symmetrical but it uh, you now that you have the new ability um, to see your center points you need to make sure that all of your center points are matching so that you're not um, going to be um, going off and losing your ship let's go ahead and get these turned on real sec and I don't know if you noticed that but that that did not slow down during that whole turn. That is amazing. Especially for a big ship like this. Um, so let's go ahead and get over to our other ship. And it does have a reverse and a forward. Uh, no clue if it's going to work. It's kind of off tilter. Um, made it after seeing um, the pod racing uh, that um, Ectosage and um, 
last staying gamers uh, or gamer last standing gamer I I'm sorry I, I don't mean to okay those are on okay tell them to grab drive off and we should slow down pretty fast so that's this ship um, it's um, the grabber to drive as you can see it's very useful let's go ahead and get out of here and we will move over to our other ship Uh, before I do though, I am going to put a beacon on here, uh, just in case I didn't save. <laughs> okay, so this other ship um, is a pod racer, uh, it's a gigantic pod racer, um, <laughs> as it uh, has to be a large ship to create a gravity drive, but as you can see in here, and the gravity drive is on for some reason. This is the, I was probably testing the reverse, but as you can see, these are all reverse. Um, and though it has two sections, one forward and one back of mass blocks, if I turn forward on, it would affect um, all of the mass blocks because of the range that I have it set on. And same for the reverse, it would affect these blocks as well to reverse it. So let's go ahead and get on in here. Kind of want to test out to see how the ship is is um, going um, without the mass blocks. So let's turn this off. And here we go. So this one is a little bit faster. It is also a million um, kg. It's actually a little bit heavier than that other ship, even though this one looks less bulky, it is definitely much bigger. Uh, but it's getting up to speed pretty fast, it's doing pretty well. Uh, let's see what we can do with our mass drive going forward. Alright, so um, uh, this may just flip in circles because of uh, everything, but um, I did go ahead and put a um, gyro there which hopefully will keep it uh, balanced. Actually want to keep the uh, dampeners on uh, because the force of the gravity drive should be strong enough to allow this to go straight but we're just testing this out for the first time um, so what we're going to do is we're going to turn our mass on that is all the mass blocks and we're going to click forward and just and there you go and this is kind of what I was hoping would happen I wanted to okay I'm stuck there we go kind of wanted to show you how it how when you do the generators wrong what will happen and this is what happens is it starts flipping and that is because the way the gravity drive is done uh, is not symmetrical to the ship. If you had a gravity drive right under the pod, it may be able to stabilize itself. But since there are two um, pods separate from each other on opposite sides of the ship, and the ship um, where you sit is not symmetrical to those, um, and it's not going to fly correctly. It's almost like a weight. This back portion is like a weight pushing down while these are trying to move forward. So that is why it's going in a circle. Anyway, guys, I hope you like this. Uh, definitely let me know. And uh, please uh, show me your gravity drive uh, ships. And um, show me what you do with your glass work as well because those are the two great things that are happening in the game right now is being able to use gravity drive to uh, get around I think what I might end up doing is making a, um, a ship that um, where did that other ship go? oh there it is, it's still flying around <laughs> um, I think w what I want to do is make a light assault ship that uses that you can use the speed to drift around attacking people but um, by going the speeds that you're going you're actually going faster 
than the rockets are, but uh, not faster than the Gatling gun. So we'll see how that works. Probably do a, a large pod on um, attached to a small ship. Anyway, well, thank you again for watching. This is Psychedeck. Peace out.